Hello everybody, I just received my new version 4 Easy B board by Easy Robots. Just got in yesterday, I haven't had a chance to look at it till today. Um, it's a pretty cool little thing. Just thought I'd show you a few things that um, I have noticed about it. This is one of the ones, one of the first 20 that was made in Canada by DJ and the gang. And it uh, comes in its own little box holder. And uh, it's a two-piece little job. It pulls apart. You have your power base right there. And uh, this is the uh, master board. The board set sits in there. And it snaps together. A few of the things that I've noticed about it as soon as I got it was it's rather tall. Just to give you an idea, there's a there's a pen and um, my hands and all that stuff. But uh, it's uh, it's encased, like I said, in, in in plastic. The main board sits in this part, the top part. There's the top of it, and I can see uh, really nice. I don't know everything about this board yet, but it's got uh, ADC board, ADC ports. I imagine these are them over here, and then here are your digital ports up and down the sides. I imagine this is where your camera plugs into. This one here, I'm not too sure about these yet. Um, turning it over, you can see the uh, the main power plug there, and it's got a built-in speaker right here, and here's the screws that hold it all together. Um, the power base, again you got screws to hold it together. Uh, you have a spot for your plug to plug into. Um, I imagine this old jack I got with my version 3 uh, from, uh, from Easy Robots plugs right in there. Um, I imagine any jack will do but you got to make sure that the outside is your negative. You can see your negative is, is right here. This is the positive. So the negative runs from here to the outside jack, the positive to the inside. So looking in here, that pin right there is going to be your positive pin. And the outside is negative. And you can see it, it plugs right in there. See there? And you can put your wires right in there like so. And uh, they correspond right to here. So all powered together. The, the two plugs there, they interact with each other. They made up and they snap together and that will power your board. Like that. And it's a pretty, pretty tough little thing, all case in plastic. Uh, here is the camera that comes with it. That with you can get it. Uh, it is also a two-piece board. You can see. The plug plugs right into the top there. I'll make sure it goes the right way. Plugs right down in there. And it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. It's got a long lead. I would say that's about Oh, I'd say eight inches. I haven't tried it yet. I have never fired this guy up. Um, this is the first time I've really looked at it with you guys. And I was curious about what the heck it looks like inside. But before we do that, um, I just want to show you. Here's the old version 3 in comparison. Uh, you can see it is... The new uh, setup is a lot taller when it's all encased in plastic. Um, it's, it's pretty close to the same size uh, when you match it all up. If you want to keep it in this guy. So some of us will want to take it all apart. Let me take this out of here. You get right down to the nitty gritty. And I was wondering what the heck that looks like. So, um, 
I took it apart. These are just regular um, screws that you can unscrew. They, they come right out. They'll come right out with a fill screwdriver. So to save you the time watching that boring project, I've already done that. You see I've already taken the, the screws out here. Two different size screws. The bigger screws for the base, smaller screws for the uh, for the top section, and um, come, comes apart. Whoops! Again, I've taken this all apart. Let's start with the power the, the power base. Um, it's uh, once you get the four screws out, it slides apart. It's pretty tight. And look at there, there's a little a little power bore with a fuse in there. Um, the power jack comes through. I, I imagine to get that out, you got to pull this fuse out and she slides out towards the camera. So, we'll get in tighter, give you a good close look. Um, and there's the section that sticks up through the hole right there that mates up in this other one. See right there? So, um... And this is just old. This is an automotive fuse. I thought it was odd. Now you got to remember, I'm in America, and this might be different. But if you can see what it says there, that's a 20 amp fuse in there. <laughs> I don't know if that's a metric fuse. Um, that, that might. I don't know if that's a 2 amp maybe, but it says 2 o on there. It says 2 o. Um, I got to check on that. See if that's proper. That's a pretty thick. That's a pretty thick wire in there. So I can't believe they want a 20 amp fuse in this little in this little board. But again, this might this is from Canada. They might fuse. They might uh, sh that might be metric or uh, who, who knows. Um, I have no idea how they how they uh, mark their fuses up there. So anyway, that's that's the power base. Pretty simple. It's well constructed. You can see it was uh, done on a 3D printing uh, machine. And um, it's just amazing <clears throat> how tight it is. So it'll slip right back on there, go on together. I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, on to the on to the other part. Um, the, those of us who want to take this apart, like I said, we'll just take the three, the four uh, screws out of there. You can see the power adapter that plugs into here. Pop the bottom off. First thing I notice is the the speaker stays with the base. It's got two little two little uh, connectors there that made up to these two little holes right two little spots right here on the bottom of the easy board. And we'll take take this top right off, and it all comes apart in pieces. And there's the brains. This is what we all been waiting for. This little wonder right here. I'm really excited to get it fired up and see how it, how it works. Um, the first thing I can notice here is how neat and nice everything looks. These are all hand soldered. I understand, right? Right up in uh, Canada. These are the first 100, uh, the batch of the first 100 that that he had done. And it's just all nice professional. This is the double board, kind of a shield style. This is the, um, I would imagine, I don't have my glasses, uh, that says UART down in there. But you have uh, the white, red, and black, so you don't mess the things up, turn your, your cable backwards and blow this thing out or something like that. you got to match up your wires. White would be your signal, red is your voltage, black of course is your ground. Um, there's your camera right there for your camera connector. And um, that's all I'm going to explain because I don't know nothing else about this board right off the top of my bat, right off the top of my head. Other than the fact that it says Wi-Fi catalyst up on top with the easy board easy B board pardon my video taken no, I, I don't do this too often um, inside the 
headers all the way around. There's a little power plug. And um, I guess a guy could uh, leave that all together as a nice little stand there. Set it, set it down and run it like that. But you see the power is coming out the bottom. And that's not going to work for me. So what I'm going to have to do in, all, in my B9 robot that I'm building is, is these are going to mount flat. And I've already got... I gotta retrofit these, so I'm gonna have to take this this off and mount it a different way, or just run wire straight out like a piggy tail, and put a Molex connector on it or something. But um, that's just me. Other than that, this is a really nice setup here. Um, a guy could just leave it all together. We're in that little uh, guy, and uh, then you got yourself a already put together piece here. Remember I took that, I loosened that up, that's why that's a part there. So, um, this is really, really nice. So, if you want to just made them up like this, you can see this is the original version 3, this is the version 4, uh, side by side. By the time you get the look at the regulators back there, by the time you get the, the plugs on there, it's kind of the same height. It's same width. Maybe three quarters of the way, uh, three quarters, uh, three quarters or two thirds is, is long. So, but um, if you take it out somehow. You can still see it, it kind of matches up pretty good. Again, I apologize for any uh, bad picture taken here. This is the best I can do. There you are. This 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 is so much, uh, from what I understand, this is supposed to be so much nicer. Uh, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, Stone Age, Star Trek. <laughs> so, uh, but this is a powerful board all by itself. So those of us that are going to stay, keep the version 3, um, this this has run my B9 robot just fine. This is uh, I'm just a I'm just really looking forward to this one. So um, that's about it right now. Um, just let me show you one more thing. How this this mates up here. So we're gonna have to work on that. Because again, I got to retrofit it into my B9. It's something I've already built. Um, guys building new robots can work this whole system right into uh, right into their robots. I'm sure it's a nice compact little little thing. Very neat, very clean. You can't really mess nothing up because it's all color coded. Nice plug-in uh, with a power supply. You can wire a power supply into this or ba a battery pack. I understand this is best run from a 7 volt DC power supply um, but it'll go all the way down to 4 volts and I think up to 17. But DJ says, I, I read the other day that um, he, he likes it to be ran at 7 volts and the thing is it'll uh, put in 7 volts here and on the power, between the power and the ground, you'll get 7 volts. You put in 4 volts, you'll get 4 volts here. Put in 5 volts, 5 volts here. 17 volts, 17 volts here. So, you see what I'm saying. Um, but there is a regulated power supply inside the um, EZB version 4 that will put out 3.5, I think you said, or 3.3. Don't quote me on that. Uh, to um, the I2C plug and uh, some of these other things. Uh, again, I'm not an expert on it right now. I just now got it. So um, this is a rough look. I just wanted to see what it looked like. Um, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Bye-bye.